Lebanon is going to polls today. Candidates are vying for the 128 seats that are divided among 11 religious groups. In the crisis hit nation, power is divided according to a sectarian power sharing system. While independent candidates hope to take on the ruling factions, established parties are still expected to maintain a grip on power. So how are the main players in the election? Let's see. Hezbollah. This is currently Lebanon's most powerful faction. It was founded in 1982 by Iran's Revolutionary Guards. The Iran-backed group's political sway has expanded since 2018. In the last election, together with its allies, Hezbollah won a parliamentary majority. Its influence over state affairs has surfaced in different ways, including through control of the health ministry. Now, the second most important group is Amal. The Shia movement is led by Nabi Berry, who has been the Speaker of Parliament since 1992. Berry has been one of Lebanon's most powerful figures since the Civil War. Today, the Amal movement is the largest Shia party in Parliament by a small margin. Now, this brings us to the country's Sunni faction. Former Prime Minister Saad Hariri's boycott has turned Sunni politics on its head. The future movement established by his father has dominated Sunni politics for decades, but Hariri has decided to quit politics for good. This has left a vacuum in country's Sunni leadership. Prime Minister Najib Mikati, another Sunni heavyweight and billionaire tycoon, is not running either. Another important party is the Free Patriotic Movement. It was founded by Maronite Christian politician Michel Aoun. The FPM has been the parliament's largest Christian bloc. Currently, the FPM is led by Aoun's son-in-law, Gibran Basil. Washington imposed sanctions on Basil in 2020, accusing him of corruption. However, Basil called the sanctions unjust and politically motivated. Another key player is the Lebanese forces. It is led by Marinid Christian Samir Jaja. The LF is one of Hezbollah's biggest opponents. The LF has stayed out of government since 2019, when then Prime Minister Hariri quit during nationwide protests. The election is also being contested by a group of parties, opposed to the traditional ruling elite. While some have run before others, are venturing into electoral politics for the first time. Despite months-long negotiations, the different groups were unable to unite or form a unified electoral platform or coalition to run at a nationwide level. Some districts even have multiple opposition coalitions running against each other. This further diminishes their chances of making a difference in the country.